How did Hurricane Helene cause so much damage this far inland? Aren't hurricanes supposed to be a coastal thing? Not exactly. If you've been on social media over the past few days, you've probably seen videos of extreme flooding as far inland as Tennessee. But how did Helene wreak this much havoc so far away from the ocean? Areas like Western North Carolina experienced pretty heavy rainfall ahead of Helene. So by the time the storm rolled through, the ground was pretty soaked and the water levels were even higher than usual. Helene also experienced something called rapid intensification before making landfall in Florida. Basically, the storm sucked up a ton of heat and moisture as it passed over the unseasonably warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, becoming supercharged. It then proceeded to dump that moisture in the form of torrential rain on the southeastern states. Rapid intensification used to be a rare thing, but it's becoming less rare as our oceans continue to heat up, leaving states with less time to prepare before hurricanes do strike. So why are our oceans heating up in the first place? Well, our planet in general is overheating due to the burning of dirty fuels like oil, coal, and gas, and our oceans are really good at absorbing that heat, meaning we can expect more storms to rapidly intensify in the future. But moving away from these dirty fuels and toward cleaner and cheaper sources of energy can protect us moving forward. Hurricane Helene was a total disaster, and recovery efforts are just beginning. Follow the cooldown for more updates and ways to help the victims.